What's going on YouTube? This is your boy Tata Collector. I apologize for the late upload today, but I've been dealing with a death in the family. My grandfather of 93 years old passed away on Tuesday, so I've been with family, and I hadn't had the chance to edit and get this video out to you guys. But with that being said, I found some awesome stuff this week. So you know what time it is. It's time to go game hunting. So you ready? Let's go. So just left the pawn shop, picked up a case only NCAA football 14. I should be able to resell that for for some money on eBay. Very nice. He just gave that to me since uh, there was no game inside. Looks like uh, the game got swiped off the shelf. <laughs> Look at what you got. Sure, man. I think this, uh, that one, and that one's it. I don't know which one you call. Keep it in through there, though. Yeah. Oh, that's the nine. That's the nine. Who's that one, right? All right. <laughs> What were you wanting for these three? Let me off, maybe these are not wrong. I don't know. Uh, did you take 10? For all of them? Yeah, for these three? What would you take for them? $25. $25? Okay, I can do that. I mean, I might want to rob you, but I know what I'm going to get you for. Yeah. I can do that. I've been offered more than that, but it ain't here right now. <laughs> I'll do that. Yeah, I like older games. You know, they said the guy said the other night they coming back on some of that. Time. Cool, that. Oh, yeah. All right, yeah, that's 25. Okay. I appreciate it, man. Fair enough. Hey, how are you? Okay. Okay. 
it is cracked on the side. I didn't notice that last night until morning. Where are they? With it being in that condition, I'd rather just get the games off That's of you then. Yeah. Because I had a buddy of mine, he was wanting a Super Nintendo, mm -hmm. and I said, hey, I'm about to go pick one up, but he ain't going to want that. Yeah, yeah that's fine. I, like I said, I didn't notice it until I was leaving the house. Alright, well, just for the games, what kind of price can we work out then? Half. Mm, half. Half. Okay. All right. yeah. You can still keep that or whatever and do whatever you want to with it. You sure? Yeah. I mean, I ain't, I ain't gonna do anything. I mean, you, I, I, I'd have to find another yeah. shell and all that. Yeah, you can still. Okay. All right, 60 <laughs> work then? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Right. All right, 60. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, you too, Merry Christmas. Okay, folks, so not a bad little haul at all this week. Picked up some really awesome stuff. I've already sold some stuff. At the beginning of the week, though, picked up these three Sega Genesis titles, uh, F-22 Interceptor, Streets of Rage 2, and Streets of Rage 3. Rage 2 and F-22, they're both complete. Uh, Streets of Rage 3 is missing the manual. Uh, I sold some stuff earlier in the week, and the guy that I sold it to had this Nintendo 64 console only no cords no controllers no games he just gave it to me um now what's going on with these super nintendos well i uh, i picked up one in a lot this week and it was all busted and cracked up and just really in really bad shape um and when i met up with the lady we had agreed on 120 bucks for the the console and all the games when she showed up and the Super Nintendo was busted, um, 
we agreed on half of that. So I got that entire lot for 60 bucks. So I used this for parts and I had this Super Nintendo right here that needed a new power port. Um, this piece right here, if I can show you, this piece right here was broken and it was good on this one. So I just unsoldered it and replaced it. So now I've got a good uh, Super Nintendo that I can clean up and clean the shell and everything and get that sold. I will most likely be bundling it with these games right here because I already had them. Uh, we got uh, Brutal Paws of Fury, C2, Judgment Clay, Super Mario World, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, Bassmasters Classic Pro Edition, and Speedy Gonzales. Uh, also, at the pawn shop, I picked up Farming Simulator 15, uh, the Sly Cooper Collection, SpongeBob SquarePants, uh, Plankton's Robotic Revenge. That's a pretty uncommon PS3 game and can sell for $30 or more. Uh, the South Park, uh, The Fractured But Whole, and this Wii title, Chuck E. Cheese The Super Collection, is another uncommon Wii title that fetches for $30 or more. Um, so if you ever see this out in the wild and you can get it for you know a couple of bucks, snatch that up. Uh, I found an amazing, an amazing Nintendo 64 score at the pawn shop. A lot of the games I have already sold. Um, this one is promised to a friend and she should be picking that up from me in the next day or two, Yoshi's Story. These two I'm going to keep to bundle with an N64 and get that system sold quicker. And these were four that I did not have for my N64 collection. So we got Gauntlet Legends, Battle Tanks, Super Smash Brothers, and The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask uh, Collector's Edition with the lenticular uh, label on, on the front. So very awesome. I paid $2 a piece for these. And with my VIP discount, they came out to $1.80 for all of those uh, N64 games that you saw. So a fantastic score. I ended up paying $27 and some change. But then we're going to get on to the Super Nintendo games that I'm keeping for the collection. We've got the Itchy and Scratchy game from The Simpsons. Wolverine Automation uh, Rage. Or excuse me, Wolverine Adamantium Rage. I can't read today. Yoshi's Cookie. Alien vs. Predator. Goof Troop is actually a label upgrade for me, so I'll be taking my uh, Goof Troop and bundling it with that Super Nintendo. Then we got the Page Master. Uh, Road Riot. Super Bases Loaded 2. And the pick of the week. Mega Man 7 fantastic fantastic find it does have this blockbuster sticker on it i should be able to get that off uh but the label on it is in very good condition the back of it is going to need to be replaced so i'll most likely take one of these cheaper games and uh replace the back with it if I can find one that's got a good looking back on it, that one right there has got a pretty good looking back on it. And, uh, but fantastic. I was so happy to see this in the pictures that she sent me and to, <laughs> to get the entire lot for half price on what we agreed. Just an awesome, awesome, awesome find. So definitely happy to have Mega Man 7 in the collection. Folks, that's it. That's all I got for you. If you've enjoyed the content, go ahead and leave that thumbs up. If you have not subscribed yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. While you're at it, hit the bell icon next to it. When you do, you're going to receive notifications every single time I upload new content. All right, folks. I hope you have had a fantastic week. I know I have. I'm Tata Collector, and have a good one.